All right, all right, all right. This is Intuitive Empress coming to you with another reading. For all of you who are my subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome everyone back to the channel. But to my subscribers, thank you so much for trusting me with your messages. To the new viewers and those who have come to my channel for the first time, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to hit that bell icon so you can know when the next videos are coming out. Please be reminded that these are general readings and they are timeless. Because this is a general message, everything may not resonate with you or nothing might resonate with you at all. For a personal reading, please go to the link in the description, okay? And if there are parts that resonate for you and other parts that don't, take what applies, let the rest fly. Do not make it try to fit your life, okay? Also, do not try to make any major changes in your life, uh, personal or otherwise, from a general reading, okay? That's just my little disclaimer and let's get to it. All right, so we're gonna just take a little shuffle here. That's one. That's two. And here's three. All right. Heavenly Father, angels of the Most High God, and Holy Spirit, <laughs> they really want to talk to you. So let's see what we have here. All right, I'm going to take all of this because uh, my cat wants to knock everything down. Okay. I don't know why when I do a reading Capricorn that my cat wants to be on the table. He wants to be a part of it. He's interested in you getting your uh, twin flame as well. Okay. So it says new love. Okay. New love. A new person has stirred up romantic feelings. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher commitment. And it says passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Let your friends help you. Ask for support. Accept, ask for and accept support from others. Okay. It says flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Okay, attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And it says, release your ex. Okay, so. What I'm getting for this is that some of you new love is coming in and it's telling you to make the effort. Okay, because this relationship is going to move on to commitment. There's going to be a lot of passion. It says, let your friends help you for support. Why? Because you need to release your ex so you can flirt with the new person because there's definitely attraction, but because you refuse to release your ex, you won't even look at someone else. So you don't even notice that this person um, wants you. Or if you notice it, you're pushing it to the side because you still have your ex on your mind. Okay. That's what I'm getting, actually. Wow. I thought it was going to be another part to it, but it's not. So someone new is coming. Um, okay, there it is. There's the second message. For some of you, the person that you're with, or you might be separated from your twin flame, they're coming back and it's going to be like a new love. Okay. Brand new. 
So you have to make the effort for that because that is going to lead to that. There's going to be a lot of passion, but let your friends help you to get over what happened in the past. Um, go away, go on vacation, clear your head, clear your mind, flirt with the person that comes back, whether it's the old person or the new person. But for some of you, you need to release your ex. Okay. For some of you, you need to release your ex. Definitely. Because remember, this is a general reading. So there are different energies that I'm picking up on. Some of you definitely need to release your ex and go on to that new thing. Okay. All right. Okay. So it says unawakened, unaware, 3D, ego, darkness. Your twin flame is not ready yet. So that might be why you need to release your ex for now for some of you because your twin flame is not ready yet. For others of you, you need to release your twin flame so your twin flame can come in. And it says memories. Nostalgia, repetition, attachment, reliving the past, let it go. Release your ex, let it go. Okay? It says, appreciate. Today, I am grateful. Your twin appreciates you. See the blessings, practice appreciation. So that's for some of the people who you have your twin. Because for others, there is a runner that's in there. Male or female says escape from emotion, confusion on the run. So some of your people are runners and you're the chaser. And so you have to release them. Sometimes you have to release the runner so they can appreciate you too. If you let them go, because I feel like some of you are afraid to let this person go because you think that they won't come back. If they don't come back, they were never yours. Okay. It says outcome, results, conclusion, ending. You will get a resolution. So some of you, again, need to release your ex. There's a resolution coming. And it says community, friendship, fun, light heart. Enjoy downtime with friends and family. Let your friends and family help you through this. For those of you who need to release the ex. Okay. And it says creativity, inspiration, productivity, creation. Bring out the greatness within because once you release your ex, you will be inspired. Product productivity will come. You will create new things and be able to unleash the greatness within yourself. This person could have been holding you back from that because you were they were such a distraction because you were running and running and running trying to chase this person down. OK. Seek the most high. Use your intuition. And it says spring, your love is blooming. The answers arrive in the spring. So for some of you, your person could be coming back next spring or the new person could be coming in this spring. Okay. All right. So it says regret. Some of you are regretting the choices that you made regretting being with the person that you were with but nothing is ever wasted it was a lesson get the lesson that you were supposed to learn from this person okay because there is a potential for you it says fulfillment risk achievement your potential is limitless this is your potential but it's also the potential in the relationship that the divine has waiting for you if you release your ex and you clean up all of that negative energy okay and marriage is in your future. Okay. Wow. I just picked up the cards from the floor and this feather was wrapped up in it was, was under it. So you have angels watching out for you, protecting you. Okay. protecting this situation at the bottom of the deck it says offer gesture engagement wedding 
Rejoice in your union. See, I can't make it up. There is someone for you. There is a relationship coming. Okay. All right. So let's further clarify. See what your person is saying and thinking about you. Okay. person has a lot to say all right so the first card out says I can't forget you you're always on my mind I surrender my love to you okay it says look beyond illusions see false perceptions things are not what they seem Feeling you by my side, everything melts away. We are in this together. What you can't see, our divine plan, is our divine plan. Trust in our story. I will see you in our dreams where our love is pure. You are my soul's anchor. You ground me. It says, I see in you what you see in me. We are mirroring. Okay. So you could have already met your twin flame. Okay. And you could be having a marriage in the spring. Like I said, the if you've been through the twin flame journey, you know, it's no joke. Y'all feel the same things. Y'all go through similar things. Y'all working out things in each other. You mirror each other for their healing. You trigger each other for their healing. It is not an easy journey and not that many people make it through it. But if you do, you will tap into your divine purpose. Okay. I'm clearing the board because I just want to go into a little bit further about what this person. Actually, I'm not going to do that because they already said that I was going to go about what they admire about you. But we have already gone through that. Okay. Yep. Spirit. Holy Spirit was like, nope. So we're going to try to get some signs for you. Okay, Aqua a Capricorn. I just got finished doing Aquarius. That's why it's on the tip of my tongue. But I know this is Capricorn. Okay. All right. All right, so we have Scorpio, another Scorpio. So it is heavy Scorpio. We have Libra and we have Leo. So that could be your signs. It does not have to be. Okay, of your person. And three came out on this. This is for the third house. So that is Gemini energy. Okay. So it could be Gemini. Maybe your person is acting in Gemini energy or maybe you're acting in Gemini energy. Okay. So that is the message that I have for you today, Capricorn. I do thank you for coming out to my reading. And again, if something resonated for you, like comment and subscribe, I would like to know if it does. Okay. And I thank you again for coming to my channel. This is Intuitive Empress and I'll see you the next reading. Bye-bye.